I cried, I cried actually. And I think the crying, I just, it was very scary. And I, I think I was afraid. It was a blur to me. I mean, I think, I don't know if I intentionally tuned out or if it was just hard, you know, to understand what they were saying in general. It's one of those things where I know what they said and I don't want to repeat it kind of thing because that just gives validity to their hatred. Shortly after 10 a.m. this weekend, a neo-Nazi group arrived in all black, waving flags with swastikas. Organizers say some protesters came into the area. They say they paid for. The police lined themselves up uh, shoulder to shoulder right in front of them on our side of the barricade. So the police were there and they and they did kind of come out right away. In order to keep participants safe, the organization sheltered people in one of the nearby buildings. If anything were to happen, they were secure, but nothing did happen. And they all felt so much better because we had a plan for this sort of thing. Since the incident, the board members say they feel an outpour of support from businesses and many local churches. We're coordinating with the local clergy to have a counseling session for people who need it after this, if they're struggling mm -hmm. with um, coping with it or their feelings with what happened. The board wants to remind others to lead with love. But it's the actions that are the most lasting and have the most impact and our action of love far outweighed anything that happened there. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.